This is Witchspace News for Friday the 22nd of November 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...we'll be focusing entirely on the announcement from Frontier of a raft of upcoming fixes to the game and breaking down everything we know about the new wave of public beaters. If you find this video useful hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon. You can also join the Burr Pit community on our Discord server and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Earlier this year along with the second delay to the fleet carrier update Frontier announced that it would be initiating multiple rounds of bug fixes, updates and public betas to the game. In a post to the official forums FDev announced the first of the public betas yesterday. It's landing in less than a weeks time on the 27th of November and will run until the 2nd of December. Currently this beta will only be available on the PC platform. Getting things onto consoles involves a few more corporate level hurdles but FDev are exploring those hurdles for future betas so watch this space. Once the beta is completed the actual update itself is expected to drop onto the servers around the end of January. So what can we expect to see fixed and what can we see in the beta? Along with the announcement is a list of the fixes that are already in place uh, that need testing alongside Frontiers own internal tests as well as some more sticky issues that require more additional information that large scale community testing can provide. Among some of the fixes in place ready for testing are some old favourites like ...not all deliveries counting towards repairs in a Thargoid attacked station ...one that will no doubt please Operation Ida if it's successful ...keyboards randomly stopping working ...female ship launched fighter crew having no audio and no text in comms channels when they're active and amongst the things that FDev needs some extra focus on to help gather more intel on the problem are Long delays when scanning planets with geological sites in the FSS. This will introduce a change to the current process of scanning a planet from the FSS. Instead of indicating whether a planet definitely has bio or geo sites on it the FSS scanner will instead give an indication of the likelihood of one of those sites either unlikely, likely or very likely. Whilst it won't be 100% guaranteed whether the planet is worth further investigation it will be much quicker than the sites being generated while the ship is still thousands of light seconds away and actually to me at least feels a little more realistic bringing a bit more of an exploration element back into that aspect of the game. The new system in the beta is a proposed change and Frontier are keen to get players feedback on how they feel about it. And I'm really pleased I don't have to say FSS anymore in this broadcast. Another old favourite bug is combat zones showing up with no actual combat going on inside. A fix is in place in the beta for this issue and FDev will need player feedback on whether the problem still persists. And anti Thargoid voices rejoice the invincible heart bug is being looked at. The issue has apparently proven extremely difficult to reproduce and FDev have placed some extra data logging tools in the beta to track this issue specifically. Also on the Thargoid front interceptor instant splitting will have a fix in place that needs testing as will the Thargoid heart cycle reset bug. That noise you can hear is the massed ranks of the AXI crying out in desperate anticipation. As I mentioned the full list of fixes that FDev have spoken about so far is in the forum post ...I've linked that below but they have stressed that the list they've published is not an exhaustive one. There are likely to be more fixes in the January update and they will be detailed in the beta patch notes which will be released next week. And when those notes drop we'll break them down for you on this here channel. For future updates FDev have also said they are investigating the following. Major tinting issues with light from a local star, Thargoid interceptor shutdown pulses that don't telegraph, core mining fragments that spawn inside the asteroid, seismic charges malfunctioning when wing mining and mahoosive rubber banding of NPC and player ships around stations ...something that drives Rini and I absolutely nuts. 
FDEV have stated that for this beta at least there won't be any decals issued for participation. I personally don't see that as necessary I'd rather they got on with fixing the game and adding decals for participation in things like community events etc. What happens in the beta stays in the beta so you can go as nuts as you like in the beta milky way galaxy and it will have no effect whatsoever on the main game. FDEV have also stated as well that if you feel your particular issue with the game is not being prioritised then do head along to the issue tracker website which we've linked below and be sure to upvote your issue so that it has the potential to be pushed up the queue. So after numerous public outcries, targeted thunderclaps and much understandable gnashing of teeth a new beta is coming and with it a raft of proposed fixes. No one wanted us to be in this position at this point in the year. We are here nonetheless. Here at the pit we sincerely hope that this beta and the subsequent January update with a bit of community input can now finally get some of these most irritating of bugs gone forever and get the game to a place where it can move forward into a bright future full of fleet carriers and lots of other good stuff. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>